Union commercial carpentry is among one of the most versatile trades in the construction industry. Carpenters assist in site preparation, construct and frame walls and roofs, install structures and fixtures such as windows, doors, cabinetry and trim, and might operate a range of equipment and machinery. Carpentry apprentices go through four years of training with on-the-job and classroom instruction. Apprentices will learn to read blueprints and develop excellent math skills in order to measure and cut different materials. Carpenters can work in a variety of indoor and outdoor settings, which include anything from a small local school to a massive sports stadium. We're working on site work, so I have the excavators outside. They have some um, site fencing and issues that they need to be moved to do some site demo. So we're working throughout that exterior site work with them. And then you come inside, we have our foremans, they're running our crews, all the subcontractors are running. So my boss, my superintendent will coordinate those subcontractors. And then I will kind of help throughout the week enforce what we talk about in our meetings and kind of just help the, the job move, move through and deal with any issues that come up during the day. Daily duties would be staying ahead of the guys, making sure that they have the proper tools necessary to get going first thing in the morning. They're not looking for items, looking for tools, looking for casework, or that's what we're doing right now is the uh, casework. Just keeping ahead of them. So they move on, getting all the lumber ordered, the materials at hand. And then um, every morning we have our little collaboration with the guys, what the tasks are during the day and what's expected of them. and. Um, that's basically a day-to-day -day process. Currently I'm working on doors, pre-hung doors and bifold doors and uh, trim work also and soon I will be doing case work which is installing cabinetry. I started the construction field in uh, WRTP Big Step with their apprenticeship readiness courses just to brush up on some of my math skills that I had not used since high school so I would be ready for the AccuPlacer test um, to get into the trades. I would say um, the math skills that I've learned would be 50-50. I mean, you learn the basic math at school and then you probably apply it differently out here than you would exactly when you did your homework or classwork. So you just get that basic you know, type of knowledge on how to problem solve and you know, key things like area, volume. Those are huge parts of our business that you know, you're calculating materials or you know, quantifying for your manpower and figuring out activities. Soft skills and personal traits that go a long way would be communication, um, understanding how to talk to someone, understanding how to listen. That's even a big part of communication is listening and talking. So both sides, you know, doing your role and understanding what the, the person or whoever you're working with needs to accomplish what they have to do. Just doing stuff with your hands and knowing that you can do whatever you want to do. I'm learning how to do electric by talking to the guys on a job site. I'm learning how the, the process of roofing goes up. You know, every, every year you still learn something. 29, 30 years of doing this and I'm learning stuff every single day on what's the procedure, how it gets done. And uh, to me, that's, that's the biggest reward I get out of the whole trade. You know, I, I can't imagine doing anything else to be honest with you. I've had many mentors throughout my career which helped me to where I am. Today, I mean, don't just pick one. A lot of people just pick one and they kind of feel comfortable with that person, but no. Just get as many mentors uh, that are available because that, that way you can see many different ways in which you can react to something. The advice I would give young people today is nothing is easy. Um, come into the, to the, to this trade expecting to work hard. Um, be eager to learn, not everything you know, happens overnight. It's a process where you learn through experience, you learn through working through other people, you learn on, uh, learn on different projects. Um, just to be open-minded, be mentally tough and focus on, like if you're, maybe you're not happy right now, what's the end goal? Where do you want to see yourself? Like I said, not everything happens overnight and you have to go through a certain amount of time before you can become what you feel like you're looking for.